Good. So, uh, Coach Shanahan just said that uh, you kind of stood on the table for Trent Sherfield. Uh, what did you like about him? Why do you want to bring him? Well, Trent Sherfield, Matt, that's an easy one because we've been playing against Trent. Uh, so I appreciate your question. That's an easy one. We've been playing against him, having to block him, having uh, to just deal with him in Arizona and him being available. Uh, he's a really good player on special teams. I hear he's a good wide out as well, and he wanted to come here and prove that, and he wants to take every opportunity he can to come out and show uh, that he belongs. And really what's crazy about that is you always respect the player from afar but he's a guy that's in here at 5.30 every morning, that's in the steam room taking care of his body. He's in the sauna. He does extra. He's a pro's pro. He's bringing guys along. There's no secret now being around the guy. He fits right into our culture, and we're really happy to have him. Kyle said you had to kind of let him know that, hey, this guy can play receiver a little bit. How, how do you tap into resources, and do you have to be aware of, like, hey, I need to sell him a little bit more on something like this? Nick, I can't take credit for that. Uh, RJ uh, and his – and. Uh, and John and their staff, they do a hell of a job with uh, looking at all the offensive tape and all that. I don't, I don't watch any of that stuff. So I'm so focused on special teams and what we need to do on special teams. But uh, RJ and those guys that they work with, they watch the tape along with uh, Mike McDaniel and those guys felt comfortable enough uh, to bring him in and let him work as a receiver as well. So, uh, and he's here to prove that he can play receiver too. He's kind of got a chip on his shoulder. You know, so uh, we like that. We need, we need him to play receiver. We need him to play special teams. We need him to play everything he can play to help this team. How many special teams is he on? What's kind of his forte? Yeah, he's on all four. I mean, he's on the big four, which are punt, kickoff, uh, punt return, and obviously kickoff return. And he's on all four of those, and he starts on all four of those right now, and he's trying to prove that he can keep that starting spot. And you got other guys in the room trying to push him. But uh, he's, a, uh, he's a delight to coach. He's a joy to coach. And I'm really glad he's here just because other young guys can take a look at him and see, oh, that's what a pro looks like. And those are the kind of guys John and Kyle continue to bring around here, which makes it fun to coach around here. What's your punt return? Uh, Brandon Ayew said he would love to be part of that. What are your options there? And is he one of the you like to see? Yeah, we're, uh, Cam, we're hoping that he can prove that he can be that guy. You know, on a consistent basis, we got really good competition there with Brandon. Uh, Richie James isn't going to go easy. Uh, River Craycraft is working his tail off. Mosinu, who's a veteran who's been uh, around the league and has returned punts, is back there working every day. And Travis Benjamin is the only kid in the room now, or only man in the room that has four punt return touchdowns in this league, which is hard to do. So uh, it's a really good group. They're all fighting. They're all working. And then. You know, they brought uh, Webster in here as well, Simba. So we'll see, you know. But I, I'm hopeful that Brandon can prove that he belongs as the number one guy. But uh, he has to prove that every day, just like every other player has to prove it. Would you maybe like a scenario where you have multiple guys to choose from, maybe depending on the game situation? Yeah, more, more guys. The more guys you have is always better for me. But, I mean, I think what any coach would say, hey, I'd love to have as many players as you could have. Uh, but it's not – where it's a situational thing or anything like that. It just depends on if he's our guy, he's our guy, he's got to prove it, you know. And uh, obviously all of that stuff goes through the head coach. And uh, we talk all the time, and, and Brandon's working his tail off, and hopefully he can, he can get that job, you know. And then we'll see if hopefully Richie won't let him take it or, or River or whoever thinks that they're the starter right now. I told them they're all on an even slate, and whoever, whoever proves it, you get it. Talano Hufanga said he wanted to become a Pro Bowl uh, in special teams. What have been your early impressions? Uh, from a, from That's a lofty goal, and that's a good goal. And I like his attitude. I like his mindset. I can tell you he has a Pro Bowl mentality in the meeting room, and he asks questions. Uh, to make the Pro Bowl as a rookie is a huge goal. And uh, I want him to have that goal. I want him to make it. But at the same time, it's the first day of pads. So he had, you know, it's his first day in pads. He did a nice job out there. There's some things he needs to clean up as well. But we want to talk about a delightful person. He is a delightful person, and he can run and he can hit. So he's going to have a chance uh, to help us, and we're hoping that he can help us. Uh, I know he'll help us, but we'll see how much and if he can get how close he can get to his goal, if that answers your question. Last year you made the change to, to Tabor Pepper at long snapper and then re in the offseason. What, what did you like about uh, you know how he progressed as the season went on and made you want to keep him around? 
Well, Pep, heck, Pep has come in for a couple of workouts. Um, and when he when he won the job in that workout, in that particular workout, he had one of the best days that I've ever seen a snapper have in a workout. Uh, and then he was here for a couple games, and he just got better and better. You know, he got more comfortable with the system. He got more comfortable with the calls. His feet got better. His uh, snaps got better. And he just worked his tail off, so really he earned it. Like he earned it, and, and that's what's so great about this organization because if you put in the work, as you guys know, they will try their best if they can to make sure that guys are taken care of and shown that they're appreciated. And uh, he's been working his tail off this offseason. I'll tell you what's really cool about him, Nick, is once he got the contract, he called. And, well, I called him to congratulate him, obviously. And then he, he, he his first response was, now it's time to go to work. I got to get better. I got to prove that I'm, I'm, I'm deserving of it. And he's worked like that in the offseason. He's worked like that every day. What the best workout you've ever seen for a, or one of the best workouts you've ever seen for a long snap in football? You're humble. <laughs> you, know, you know more than you've been doing this a long time. No, Pep, you, so you look on short snaps, you look for strings and see if you get laces. The kickers like the laces to be facing out. And on all of his snaps, he was perfect. He was 100% on laces. So that was unbelievable. I think he had, uh, you know, 10 or 12 snaps, and uh, all of them, we either want them between 10 and 2, if you look at a clock. On a clock, you want them between 10 and 2 if you can. His were dead on, all of them. Uh, and it was just really impressive. And then in his punt, his punt snaps was really good. Really, They were really good. He didn't have any off-target snaps. And he got his feet back and, and showed he could protect. So uh, that's why he won that competition that day. You know, man, I am. Uh, I'm even, I'll answer that twofold. I'm even, I'm excited for the guys that we have now, but what I'm really excited about is the guys that we've had in the past, like Raheem, Dre Greenlaw, Emmanuel Mosley, Aziz. All these guys have gotten a position to now where they're playing more offense and defense and now becoming leaders of the team. So what does that do? That opens up more area for guys that you were talking about, the Hufangas, the Mitchells, some of these new guys that we have. And our room is all about growth. We want to grow. We want them to come in. We want them to play well on teams. We want them to be offensive and defensive starters. If not here, if you take an example of a guy like Matt Breida, go lead the league in rushing and then go somewhere else and do it as well. So he was a good player for us as well. So that's what our room is about developing people and I'm really excited about the next young group of guys we got and then we'll see time will tell one one practice in pads we haven't played any games but I guarantee you this they they see a lot of film on tape of Raheem Mostert of Dre Greenlaw making plays of Emmanuel Mosley making plays Aziz making plays they have examples so now the ball's in their court to go out and see if they can if they can live up to our standard because our standard is it's high around here, and it's not going to change. What type of improvement have you seen from Mitch Wishnowski, and what are your expectations from him? The, the thing about Mitch is he's a uh, joy to coach. Mitch is a guy that we don't have to worry about when he's away from here because he always come, comes back better than he was when he left. Obviously, you guys can see the obvious improvement from uh, year one to year two, but our whole room is about improvement. Our whole punt team was here this offseason during OTAs. They were all here trying to get better, and as the team – improves, as the coverage guys improve, as the protection improve, then everybody improves. And uh, that goes for all of us. I'm, I'm not excluded from that either. Like, we all have to improve, and we're pushing each one of them each and every day. So the better the snaps are on field goal, the better Mitch is on field goal holes, the better Robbie is on kicks, you know? So they're all working, and they all need to improve, and I've been really delighted. Uh, for all the improvement that we've seen this far. But, again, it's early, you know, and uh, we just got to keep working, stacking days each day. Got to stack a day and be better than 31 other teams. That's what I tell them in the meeting. Thomas and Mike Mitchell guys. both have uh, Cooper Turner experience in college. Are they both in the running or either of them in the running game? Do they have to earn your trust as being a rookie? I'm sorry, you said Elijah Mitchell and who else? 
Okay, Elijah Mitchell and Ambry Thomas. Yeah, they both uh, have uh, – Elijah has – some kick return experience, Ambry has more than Elijah. They're both in the running, um, as well as the other guys that we have back there that you see at practice. All those other guys are back there. Richie James is back there. Uh, Kevin White's back there. Ayuk's back there. Debo's back there. They all work. Everybody works. And whoever wins the job, maybe it's Mitchell, maybe it's Richie, maybe it's I – don't, I don't pass out anything. So to answer your question, yeah, they need to, they need to develop the trust. But I just let them go, and then I see who's, who does this and who does that. And the good thing is the players will tell you. I don't have to make that decision. They make it for us. Good? All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.